Welcome to our live training session number 12. We're going to be tuning a turbocharged B-series Honda Civic using Honda S300. So let's jump into some details about this vehicle. It has a built B18C engine, has Skunk 2 Pro 1 cams, upgraded valve train, it has upgraded heavy duty head studs, a sleeve bottom end, and forged pistons and rods. So the engine is built to handle high horsepower and high RPM. It also has an Edelbrock intake manifold and a Skunk 2 70 millimeter throttle body. Now on the turbo side of things, it has a custom turbo kit using a top mount manifold and a Borg Warner S362 SXE turbo with a three inch turbo back exhaust. On the fuel side of things, it has ID 1700s and a Walboro 525 liter per hour fuel pump, upgraded lines and fuel pressure regulator. Now we're gonna be doing our tuning on Ignite E85, which is going to be a race blended E85 that's gonna be a little bit more consistent than we find at the pump. We also find that this vehicle has a three port boost solenoid, has an AEM X series wideband, as well as an AEM X series oil pressure gauge, both of which we're gonna be wiring into the S300 and setting up the fail safes so we're able to have those during our tuning session. So now that we've went over the details of the vehicle, let's jump into the live training session so we can create the base calibration file to get started and we can get the engine fired up. Welcome to our live training session number 12 using this EK hatch with Honda S300. Now we went over all the details for this car, so let's jump into our S Manager software so we can begin creating the base calibration file. So let's get started and we'll move into our new calibration section. I'm gonna select a stock P28 file to start with here. Um, I usually use these, this is just personal preference. You can use other stock files to begin with, but again, I'm gonna be selecting this. So I'll select P28, click OK, and now my file is open in my S Manager software. Now I need to go in and set up all the details for this car. So let's jump into the parameter section first. We'll go set up all of the sensor details, the injector details, and anything else that's gonna to pertain to this. And then we'll move into our tables here, set these up, and then we're gonna have our base file create it and we can uh, begin our tuning process. So let's go in here to our parameters. Now this is gonna be where we find all kinds of details uh, to set up again. Uh, sensor inputs, injector data, um, rev limits, on and on and on. So this is gonna be what we always wanna start with first and getting all the details out of the way. We'll start off here with analog inputs. We'll move our way all the way through each of these tabs all the way down here to VTEC so we can cover everything so nothing's gonna be left out. So starting into analog inputs. This car has an AEM X-Series wideband gauge. It also has an X-Series uh, oil pressure gauge and the oil pressure gauge has been wired into analog zero and I've went in and I uh, took the brown wire from the gauge I've ran that to the black wire on my analog sub harness for the S300 board and then I went in and I've wired the white wire the signal wire from the gauge and I've wired that into analog zero which is the red wire on the harness from Honda now we have to go and set up some configuration details here. So under analog zero, we can see it's clicked on this. We're gonna say the input here, we'll leave it on analog zero, but under the name, we'll call this oil pressure. Then we'll go into the conversion and we're not gonna have a scale here for this oil pressure conversion for the gauge. So we'll go under custom. Now under custom, under the type, we're gonna be setting this as pressure. So if we move down here, we'll select pressure. We can see the units change to PSI. Now one little bit of tricky thing here when you're setting up an oil pressure sensor, an oil pressure gauge like this, it's sending a signal out based on what that sensor is reading. We're gonna find here that the 